Welcome back everyone, Kremlin the Archer here, time for some more Project Zomboid. So, last week, last, not week, last time's episode, a little rough, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Let's take some painkillers. Gonna crash the car kind of rough, look at that blood we left on the ground over here. Um, Let's actually see, I want to see what the... Hood is at 18%, wind shields at 18%. Windows are messed up, yeah. So what does this say if we... So if you smash the windshield, does that just make it not a issue anymore? It's kind of like emptying out the window. Hmm. Sorry, I'm trying to. I'm I'm, think, I'm I'm pondering here. I don't really know exactly what. I should say that I'm recording this episode before the next episode goes. Like the the previous episode goes up, so I can't really uh, react to anything you guys might have told me about what has happened in the last episode here. But I don't exactly know what we're going to do. So the, on the ground, there's nothing else on the ground, right? Did I drop anything anywhere else? Alright, so we messed up our hand, basically, is what happened there. I'm tempted to work my way back into the village without the car. Just leave the car here for the most part. And see if we can clear ourselves an area. I feel like we're a lot further away than I think we are, so maybe I'll drive the car part of the way back. Oh, we're actually not as far out as I thought. I guess maybe it was because we were running for our lives at the time, but I felt like we went a lot further than that. Unless this is a different road that goes somewhere else. I don't think it is. But yeah, I think we're going to have to clear ourselves, essentially. Yeah, this is the same thing. We're going to clear a toehold in this place before we can bring the car in. Because the car uh, just attracts too much, too much attention. So I'll just keep that up in case I need to check on the quality of our bandages. Like that, for instance. Just eat this. Eat this too. I don't have any bandages anymore. Well, that's not great. Oh, hello, sir. And we're not bleeding anymore. Because we stitched the bandage. Or we stitched the, the wound. None of these clothes are clean, right? No, oh, just the shoes. I'm gonna get away with leaving it exposed. I don't know if that's good or bad for a wound. In real life, or in zombies. Ooh, that was a silent kill. Oh, because I didn't actually kill him. 
her either. Pants, those are clean. <clears throat> there we go. Good. Let's see what's in here. Dead rat. of anything here I'm starting to get to the later afternoon which means that we have to start thinking about finding a place to sleep for the night worst case scenario we can go back to the truck and sleep in the truck but we're gonna get very cold probably well it is still July Push. All right, got those guys. They have anything useful? No. Okay. How's my hand? Bandaged. That's a big group. Fence running down this side. Hmm. I don't really want to fight any more groups if I could avoid it. Apparently, the answer is that I can't avoid it. I might even sleep, slip past this group. I see a dead guy right there. the two of them? Oh, that's not so bad. I was worried that the two moans was a herald of a much larger group. Talkie talkie. Larger group like that. Which we will have to kill if we want to stay here. I think there's guys over here too. So let's roll up the block a little bit. This makes me want to go back to my home. I want to go home where there's not so many zombies. Cigarettes. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not sure we're gonna be able to clear a safe enough place to sleep in this town. We may have to just go back and sleep in the truck.
Watch an alarm go off right here. Nope, no alarm. It's that whole group across the street though. Which makes me extremely uncomfortable. Did we take slow healer? Can't remember. The look in a minute. I mean, it feels like defeat, but I wonder if the proper course of action is to go to on to Muldrow. I'm starting to think it might be also thinking we're gonna need to sleep in the truck because there's I don't think I don't see a way in which we clear enough space here to make this worthwhile in a short period of time before the sun goes down over Santa Monica Boulevard I really hate zombies. One of the bits of the AI in Zomboy that I don't like is their their genius ability to understand how to get around fences. Like they will they will find the way around that fence. Real zombies would just should just sort of bang against it for a long time, forever, basically. Real quote unquote standard standard zombies. Could sleep in one of these houses. I mean, they won't have beds, but they'll have chairs we could sleep in. I don't know if it's better or worse to sleep in the car. It's interesting a question. Give that a disinfectant. I'm not sure it actually needs it at this point. Painkiller, just take the edge off. Yeah, I'm very much torn on what I want to do here. Kind of think we should go to Muldrow. I mean, there's a decent chance that Muldrow is going to be overrun too. I guess maybe we just try and sleep in one of these places. Let's go kill this zombie first. Also, our knife is our knife is getting very close to being not good anymore. So, like, we could sleep right there, which is, I guess, what we're going to end up doing. I don't have a book on me, do I? No. All right, let's go back to the car and get a book. Might as well read something. It's in, yeah, I can see all the books. Okay. So, if we just throw this on the ground... Let's get mechanics for beginners. Why not? Like the the bar on the south side of Muldrow is where I was thinking about trying to take us. 
But I feel like maybe not the bar itself, but the uh, the area around it, namely the gas station, has a tendency to have a lot of zombies on it, especially when you roll up with a car that makes a lot of noise. Streetlights came on. Hope we can sleep okay. Sometimes you have trouble when the pain's there. Except for the pain went away, so... There's the sleepiness. Alright. Alright, let's eat a bag of chips. Let's change the bandage. Hopefully we don't get jumped in the middle of the night. That would be bad. Remove stitch. I wonder how you know when to take the stitches out. All right, let's go. Well, we survived till morning. That's something. Go team. Alright, stitch these. Um, let me throw this one. Well, first, we eat this bag of chips. And then, for the moment, I'm gonna toss this bag, this secondary bag. I think it's the second one? This one? Yeah, toss that on the ground. We're gonna get out our axe of destruction here. We're gonna go do some work. We're gonna go make ourselves an area of this of this town that is zombie. Well, maybe not zombie free, but zombie reduced. There it is. Let's see that group disappeared, but just split up and sp spread out a little bit. Almost out of water. <clears throat> That's not too hard to fix the first house we go into. Fill up the water bottle. Alright. Let's get it chopping. Next. Rosewood map. It's actually mildly useful. Technically we've left Rosewood, but might go back one day. Fully rested axe time is so it's such a thing of beauty. Painkillers, I don't think I need those. Focus on this side of the street, I think. Not see me? For sure that guy saw me. Two, four, six, eight, nine, and this is ten. Or was ten. 
Just want a few of it at a time. It's lovely. It's lovely. front yard and take a look see real quick all right is the front door unlocked no oh God. scared me Nothing. Nothing. Let's eat some pie. Why my pie doesn't make you happy? Just eat this radish. Nope. Okay, not gonna eat that radish. Thought I was, but it was a lie. Is that a rotten mutton chop? Yep. Are you bleach or are you booze? Your booze. It means we can actually fill those bottles. For some reason, they don't let you fill the bleach bottles, but. I'm not gonna worry about that. We got lots of water bottles. Which is the thing I say now before the power the water goes out, and then I'll have a very different opinion later. Banging, but I don't know where it's coming from. Hmm. Must be that next house down. Let's go check out. Oh, let's read this real quick. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna stop here on the corner full of zombies to read a magazine. Really wanted to learn about making smoke bombs. Nope. D3%. Condition's okay, so I guess that means it has gas, maybe? I don't know. Okay, uh, it's not exactly a great place to stop, but it is where I'm going to stop. So I'm going to stop here for today, guys, and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much.